this last week I've been teaching people how to use their cameras and better their photography and usually by the end of it we get a sunset and sometimes we're in some quite difficult lighting situations kind of like what you see behind me the lights very dappled and like really bright and really dark so there's this thing called bracketing on your camera where you can take three photographs and overexpose underexpose and take one right in the middle and then later in a software program like Lightroom or Photoshop you can merge them together and hopefully get a well exposed photograph and then you go into the editing part. So every digital SLR has bracketing on their camera you've just got to know where the settings are but before I show you where the settings are what I'm going to do is show you what I've done. I've set the camera up on a tripod just so the camera doesn't move when we take three different photographs and I've already taken a photograph here just to make sure the exposure is all right and as you can see in this photograph we've got quite a lot of dark areas and a few bright areas so what I want to do is to take three photos so we can find the uh, shadows and the highlights. So to start off with this is my exposure uh, f22 which so we've got a large depth of field I've focused halfway into the picture as well. Um, we've got an X a shutter speed of 20th of a second I can't really handhold that and plus we're going to take three photos and merge them so we want to make sure that the uh, camera is quite still. Also and you just want to make sure the wind's not blowing like heck because we've got to merge the three photos together and if you've got leaves ruffled everywhere uh, the photograph's probably not going to look that good. Bracketing is set up slightly different on every camera so some cameras will have a button on the back here uh, and usually lo what we're looking for is a BKT for bracketing, it's just short. Some of them have them on top here, but my D600 just has it here. So that button, all I have to do is hold that button in to change the settings and I'll show you where the settings are. So I'll go ahead and just turn my display on um, and that'll show you my settings. So we can either have a look here or on top of the camera, like up here on the other display screen, just to change the bracketing. Now if I go ahead and hold the bracketing button in which is on the other side so just hopefully I get the right one so I'm holding the bracket in what you've got on the left is how many frames you want to take that's over here and on the right is the exposure difference the exposure conversation so that's going to be 0.3 between every photograph so if I dial this back button just up here that's going to change how many frames I'm doing so as you can see it's going to start off and go minus two at a third so it's going to do two photos minus a third then minus a third and this one's going to be plus a third plus a third if we scroll the other way we get to three frames and as you can see it's going to do in the middle exposure underneath and then over at a third and that's the settings in your cameras you can actually control that just to do under middle and over now if I scroll this front front wheel it's it's going to it's going to make the exposure compensation different so here as you can see I'm doing a stop and I can go all the way to three stops so that's probably not too handy for me at the moment so because there's too much of a difference what I want to do is just maybe just stick it on let's just go a stop so all your detail in your shadows and your highlights in your different photograph if the dynamic range wasn't that much you could even go right down to 0.7 or 0.3 of a stop Okay, so I've just taken a brief break while the wind was blowing, and it looks like it's blowing back up again. We're not getting any luck. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I've got my three frames at a stock different exposure, and I'm just going to take a photograph, or well, three photographs, I suppose, in a row. So just all you have to do is press your shutter three times. So there's three photographs, and if we turn the camera back on, and just come in a little bit. All right, so if I scroll through the photographs, as you can see, so that's my medium exposure, there's my underexposure, so I can get all the highlight details, and there's my overexposure by stop, so I can get all the uh, shadow details in the photograph. So this is where I go back onto the computer and we'll merge them together.